Well, despite their dominance in both the Premier League and the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup has largely been elusive for City in recent years. Pep Guardiola's guided the Blues to glory just once back in 2019 as the Blues completed an historic domestic treble. So there's a feeling that there's some unfinished business when it comes to this world-renowned knockout competition. City coming forward, but still inside their own half. Now it's scooped into the gap, and Cole Palmer is onto this. He's one on one, and he scored no. He's put it into the side netting. Out of absolutely nothing, Cole Palmer, one on one, right down the middle, and it must have just caught a little bit of the leg of Kepper. And what a chance that was. Yeah, fantastic opportunity. Again, that problem with, the, with um, Humphreys just getting pulled in, leaves the gap. And I just think, you know, Cole will be disappointed because we're all. We're all rooting for him to finish one of these off. Alvarez is driving forward and he plays it out wide to Mares. Mares under pressure from Hall, fouled by Hall, free kick to City, and it's shooting range. Yeah, clever from uh, Mares. It's just behind him from Alvarez, but he's won a foul by just stepping over the ball. Recovering defender takes him out. Bernardo Silva is nearby, but I don't think it'll be him that hits it. The whistle is blown by Robert Jones. Mares hits it on target, into the back of the net, and that is a quite sensational free kick. He scored an absolute beauty against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup back in November, it went over the wall and in. This one is even better, and the man who settled it on Thursday night may well have sent City on the way to victory today. Andy Morrison, that was brilliant. So good, it's so, so good. It's a wonderful execution. And, and sometimes, I think, yeah, might just have caught Gallagher, which changed the direction, but the, the technique is incredible and, and the keeper gets nowhere near it. At the moment, Cole Palmer's won City's first corner of the match. A tackle by Gallagher, Akanji and Rodri and Palmer and Laporte are all hovering with intent. And Laporte almost got to it, Rodri almost got to it, Alvarez hits a shotless blot, Mares then gets the loose one on the edge of the area. Well, at the moment, there is a check for VAR for a possible handball. Oh, it's a handball all day long, that will be a penalty. Now, talk about mind games. Kepper is right in front of Julian Alvarez. The two of them are speaking to each other in Spanish. I don't know what uh, Kepper said to him, but Alvarez had a smile on his face. So Julian Alvarez has the chance from the penalty spot to give City a 2-0 lead. Alvarez with a big puff of the cheeks, a big deep breath. He runs up to the ball and fires it into the corner of the net. It is City 2, it is Chelsea 0. Kepa guessed the right way, got a hand on it, and the two goal scorers when the, when the Blues beat Chelsea in the Carabao Cup, cut back in November, are now on the score sheet again. Yeah, it's, uh, there's enough pace. Keeper's going the right way, I thought it was close, um, but the momentum and again the power and, and the accuracy is what's seen at home, and it's a, it's a great start, and I, and I think it's a fair reflection of the game so far. Walker gets the better of Hall with a lovely little step over and then he changes the angle to the opposite side of the pitch where Sergio Gomez is waiting. Gomez gets beyond the challenge, gets it back from Rodri and then just gets the better of Jorginho, pops it out wide to Cole Palmer, Palmer in field to Rodri, Rodri changes the angle over to Mares, wide on the right-hand side, Mares now attacking Hall, in it goes to Walker and turned in by Phil Foden, it is an absolutely wonderfully worked goal from City, it really was, they switched the play from the right-hand side over to the left, back it came to the right again, and then the ball from Cal Walker on the overlap, inside to Foden, and Foden's side puts it into the net, City 3, Chelsea nil. It's a terrific bit of play, and it's, it's what Pep's been at since the start of the game, it's so, so good, Ali, that, that phase of play. From the minute Kyle Walker makes on the halfway line, switches play, from there on, it's as good as you'll ever see. A wonderful team goal, 
And before half time, City are 3 0 up in this FA Cup tie. Rodri, who gets away from Gallagher, lays it off to Bernardo Silva, try to find Alvarez, but Koulibaly stepped in. And then Akanji wins the ball back, and it's on to Julian Alvarez. And Alvarez now comes up against Humphreys, holds the ball up, lays it on to Cole Palmer. Palmer towards the edge of the penalty area. On it goes to Mares, right across the face of goal. Alvarez was within a whisker, and it's cleared. Palmer turning away from Omari Hutchinson, goes back to Phillips again. And Laporte and Phillips, good tackle, Palmer. And Joao Cancelo turning away from Aspilicueta. On it goes to Palmer. Palmer into the final third. On it goes to Bernardo Silva. Into the gap for Mares. Mares to the edge of the penalty area. Tries the shot and puts it within a whisker. Really good hit from Mares. Excellent play from City and unlucky. So just over 17 minutes to go. City's three first half goals. Are the game's only goals. Well, hang on, here comes Aspilicueta. Suddenly he's charging through, and Chelsea have plenty in this counter attack. But Laporte's held them up for the moment. On it goes to Amari Hutchinson on the edge of the city penalty area, puts in a low ball. It goes beyond everybody. Goal kick. Laporte helps it across to Walker. Walker tries to get the better of Hall, helps it towards Alvarez. Alvarez back to Akanji, Akanji up to the halfway line. Mares is on to it, Mares coming forward, plays it in field. Bernardo Silva advances, he has options left and right. Foden, was he brought down? Yes, he was. Penalty kick. In the game, City against Fulham. There was a red card brandished for exactly the same thing. In this game, there's not even a card of any colour gone to Koulibaly. The, the only difference I can see is Cancelo was out of the game and he actually took him out, where I think there's a genuine effort from Koulibaly to get to the ball, but it's clumsy, and I think there's the, you know, the detail probably in the difference in the two decisions. Mares. Yeah, Mares is going to take it. Alvarez scored the first half penalty. Mares scores the second half penalty and his fantastic record against Chelsea continues and City lead by four goals to nil and Riyad Mahrez now has his fifth goal for City against Chelsea and his third this season. It is City four, Chelsea nil.